Villagers are one of the most common Minecraft structures, and with them come villagers, who also happens to be the most useful mob in the game. But what if you didn't have access to any of this? Well, in this video, I decided to get villagers without going to a village. But before I could do any of that, I had to get some resources. I first tried to make a base at spawn, but after getting iron armor, this player tried to kill me for augments. You see, this is the augment SMP, an SMP where if you kill a player, you gain an augment, but if you die, you lose all of your augments and have to start over. But that's besides the point. After this player farmed me for augments, I decided it would be best for me to find a new base. I eventually found a place that happened to be right next to a village. Why do I torture myself like this? I set up a base and tried to go caving, but I died every single time until a player by the name of Bentek decided to give me some loot. So shout out to them, their socials are in the description. After that, I set up some infrastructure, but before I could do any of that, I was roped into a war where all of my stuff was cleared and I was given some server kit. I don't know why y'all sided with these motherfuckers. This kid is so ugly. And of course, I died almost almost immediately. Yeah, that, that was expected. So basically, I lost both Bentech stuff and the server's kit, but it was okay because I saved some of it in an ender chest. Next, I built this large dirt room that I am calling the mob spawner. I built it in the hopes that a zombie villager would spawn, so I could cure it and turn it back into a villager. And that's exactly what happened. But unfortunately, it wouldn't pick up any of the items I dropped and a creeper blew up. I tried running back to grab a boat, but the zombie villager was gone. But instead of quitting and using the villagers right next to my base, I took this as confirmation that the spawner worked, so I made it even bigger and better better until another zombie villager spawned. First one in. I then realized I was gonna need nether wood to make the weakness potions, so I spent hours dying in the nether and begging people if they had some. I then found out you didn't actually need nether wood to make weakness potions. Anyways, before all of that, the second zombie villager spawned, but I wasn't recording, so here's what I got after the fact. I got a zombie villager that was probably infected from one of these villages. It was like right over here. But you know what? I think that counts. That's how I saw the villager. I think I, that should definitely count because I did, wasn't the one to infect the villager. Now, my last mission was to get some fermented spider eyes. And you can craft those with spider eyes, sugar, and brown mushrooms. And the last one is the one that I didn't have. So I made my way up to the nether roof. I built a portal, grabbed some mushrooms, and got to cooking. After hours of work, I was ready to get the zombie villagers cured. Grab the spider eye, then I grab the sugar, and my fermented spider eyes. And here we go. believe this it has been how long it's been over 12 hours <sighs> number one done here we go okay who did it who did it first uh the boat guy got it first boat guy got it first then it was done. I transported the villagers up to my trading hall, if you can call it that. And that was it. I got villagers without ever going to a village. 